Hello and welcome to a Q256 video. Now this here essentially is a follow-up video for the video that I made about my bucket cover uh, driving steering for gaming. Uh, right there, the video is in the card that is appearing right on your screen right about now. Now this one is a follow-up because uh, people in the comment section were asking me, well we didn't see a gaming video, does the steering actually work or are you just talking about theories? Now in this video that's exactly what I'm going to be uh, covering. We're going to be doing a little bit of gaming and then we get to see how this whole thing does actually work. So welcome to my setup. This is uh, where I do most of my editing from and also some mild gaming, never really get time for gaming but hey that is what it is. As you can already see the bucket uh, cover steering is already here, my DIY steering. So the steering is uh, right here. If you remember, it goes to this over here, uh, set up under here. Not My lighting is not so good, so you'll forgive me for that. So it is plugged in and all I've done is put it right here. Right, so I'm just going to be uh, firing up some software over here. Um, let's see, let's fire up Euro Truck Simulator. This is the one that actually did uh, work with uh, the game itself is something that worked very well okay so there it is your truck simulator firing up yeah let's do some gaming baby so i already have a profile that i created yesterday but this is no big deal um i really haven't done anything on this profile it's just as plain as it goes as you can see that yeah let's get loading and then before we go to the driving bit we're just going to be setting up and putting in the settings and then we'll see how that all goes Do, 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 do. you forgive me my setup is not really the most funky setup out there i'm running a, a very old pc it is quite old just in better days right so you just go to options and then you go to controls in controls you want to select keyboard and mouse over there not keyboard only but keyboard and mouse and then transmission doesn't matter whatever you put but simple automatic is what i'll go with now steering sensitivity i put it to the lowest possible because as you know the mouse can be a little bit too uh, sharp and then you know non steering uh, steering non linearity i put that all the way to the maximum because that affects how you know the car responds when you twist the steering uh, so fast now let's uh, get to some driving, shall we? Right, so we exit that and then we'll go straight into the game. Right, so the game fires up, you know, that is us. Now if you can see from uh, the small steering uh, dial over there, when I move my bucket cover, it's also doing the same over there as you can see. That goes to the right and that goes to the left. Now if I just uh, pan this all the way to the side, let's have a look at the tires. That goes all the way there, and that also goes all the way there. Now, if I change uh, camera, let's go to the inner inner camera. As you can see, the steering wheel over there, that still will go to the left, and that will go to the right, as you can see. So, back to the center over there. Now, let's do some, you know, some driving. Let's go. Here we are going to deliver some goods. Uh, I hope my machine is not stuttering too much. Oh, where are we going? We're going this side. Alright, let's go. As you can see, that is going smoothly. That is going smoothly. We're breaking the law over there. Get to the inner and correct our lane. Yeah, so as of now, the steering is actually doing well. I have no problem with it. It feels uh, not so bad. Um, a little bit too sensitive, but of course we are already at the lowest possible uh, sensitivity point. Now, some of you might be looking at this already and saying like, hey, how are you accelerating and what? So all I have is I have a small um, old keyboard, <laughs> an old keyboard that I put on my feet and I've configured uh, the buttons one for accelerate and then the other one for brake so yeah that's all I'm just stepping on at the bottom here I'm going to be making a few uh, cardboard 
uh, pedals for that but of course you can always check that out in a new video uh, on this very channel now I'm not going to drive all the way because this might here take uh, some time all you can see is that this is actually working and uh, our steering is doing us well it's doing the magic it's you know it is smooth I can actually control the track as you can see it's actually running really well and it's something that is really uh, great right there for you and even when the truck does kind of escape from from me um, it's easy for me to kind of you know pull it back and have it right back to, to to the center and get driving properly well it's been a while since i last drove whoa whoa green yeah oh okay 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 um <laughs> um i'm sorry guy i'm sorry uh let's see we hit him badly by the way um well traffic offense but hey let's go no the other side the other side the other side, the other side, the other side. Sorry, you gotta go. Got to go. Bye bye. I hope you got my insurance information. Call the boss for that. You'll get sorted. Right, just making sure we are on the right lane. Yes, we are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, as you can see, it's been a while since I last uh, <laughs> actually drove, so my driving is kind of rusty. Forgive the jittering of my machine. I am running a really, really low spec machine, so um, recording and gaming at the same time is really taking a toll on it. So, uh, do forgive me for the skippy uh, kind of video right there it's not uh, intentional it just happens to uh, be my poor machine right so this is douchebag eh? du du <laughs> german words uh well this is euro truck simulator so that means we are somewhere in europe um i don't want to hit somebody again damn my brakes are not sensitive at all wow what does that do okay 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 now we're waiting, we're waiting, an indicator, green light, come on guy, go, 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 truck does take a while to uh, pick up, we have an indicator already uh, put, let's see, what do we have, what do we have, don't knock anybody, right, and we are arriving at the drop off point, which should be somewhere around somewhere around here according to the map i should be taking a left over here come on come on truck come on truck don't knock anybody already knocked enough people for the day and we are in right where is the actual delivery point i can just unhitch it so there we go delivered and we are good to so that was a quick uh, gaming demonstration using this steering. Forgive my driving skills. It's been a while since I last gamed. But this was just proof of concept to show you that it actually does work. So if you're on a tight budget and really want something to, you know, enjoy yourself during this, especially this lockdown, yeah? Or if you just want a steering to drive, especially like Euro Truck Simulator, it feels a lot much better when you have that feedback of a steering. So that is gaming for you. Um, there are a couple of games that do accept this kind of steering mode. I am yet to compile the list, but off my head, I know Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, um, City Car Driving does also accept uh, steering by mouse. So those so far can accept. I am yet to compile a list if there's any racing games. But of course, in case you need to know what works with what, just drop me a comment down there in the comment section and I shall definitely uh, do reply to you. Now, that is is basically it for this video i hope you have enjoyed watching it if you have not yet subscribed now is a good time for you to go hit the subscribe button because you know your subscription does work for both me and for you so hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you do not miss out on new content as it drops and i shall see you in the next video cheers